Hello, this is Kelly from Complete Payroll. Today I'd like to show you how to use our TW mobile app to access your time clock from your smartphone or another mobile device. First of all, on your mobile device, you'll want to search the App Center for the word TimeWorks. Once you do that, you should find our app and it looks just like this. You can download that app and when you open it, you will be able to access your timekeeping using the username and the password that was issued to you by your employer. Now once you put in that password and click login, it is going to ask you to update that password to a secure password. So first of all, you're going to type in the password that was given to you, just like I did to get to this point. Then you're going to enter a new password. Now when you enter this new password, keep in mind the instructions do tell you that you're going to need at least eight characters. You're going to need to um, include at least letters, uh, one number, one symbol combination in order to pass the uh, security requirements. Once you've entered that new password twice, you will click on submit and it will take you into the application. Now you won't have to change your password again in the future once you've set up a secure password. Now when you come into the system, you can select whether you want to clock in or clock out and then you'd be able to click the submit button and it's going to, if you have different departments you need to clock in and out of or other locations or anything like that, you'll be able to grab what you need. If you don't, you may not even see this screen and then you'll click submit. Either way, it will tell you when you have clocked in successfully. Now, clocking in and clocking out is the simplest of the functionality. You will also be able to view your time off balance. So whatever your time off balance might be at this time, you'll be able to see that. You can go down to the employee options and request time off. So let's say that you wanted to take a week off. You can come in and you can select the type of time off that you're allowed to use. There may be one option. There may be more. It depends on your company. Then you're also going to be able to select the dates that you're looking to take off, whether it's one day or a whole week. You will want to make sure that the hours per day are populated. Uh, they probably will populate automatically for you. If you normally work through the weekend and you're wanting days off over that weekend, you would want to click the check mark for the include weekend days. If not, you just leave it alone. You can enter a comment for your manager if you prefer, but you certainly don't need to. Uh, that's just in case you want to send a note to that person when you're submitting that request. Now when I click continue, it's actually going to pop up with a little summary so that we can review and make sure that I've asked for what I really wanted to ask for. When I click submit, it's actually going to automatically send an email. It tells me that it was successful, just sent an email to my manager so that my manager can go in and approve or deny that time off. Good news is whether they approve or deny, you will receive an email back that will tell you whether it's been approved or denied. Now, in addition to time off requesting, you can access your time card as well. So you can click on my time card. And that will actually show you uh, your time card with whatever entries might be there for the particular pay period that you're on. Now you can go to previous pay periods, so you can click back in time. Um, you can see in my demo, there's just a few weird days out here. <laughs> um, or you can go forward to see the next pay period and you can see the actual times that have been uh, processed in your time clock. Okay. To get back to my main menu, I just click back and I'm right where I started out. If your company is using the scheduling module of our timekeeping, you will only be able to see a minimal amount of information on your smartphone or mobile device. To really access the scheduling information, you're going to want to go into uh, the application online. Now, if you uh, come in and you are using the scheduling module, it will simply tell you per day the hours that you are expected to be at work. If I click back, back again, it will take me to the main screen. Now, if I really only came in to clock in or clock out, I didn't have to go to all those places, but I certainly wanted to show you how to use the extended software that is available here. If your employer has uh, an announcement for the company, something that they want you to be aware of, you may see a screen here that gives you an announcement. You may not see that at all. When it comes time to clock out, I simply click on clock out and click submit. Now I want to make sure that it's saying clock out and click submit and it's going to tell me it's clocking out and it should tell me when that clock out is successful. So really very simple. The only other piece would be to click on your menu if you choose to log off. Um, however, you don't have to log off like any other app. You can leave it open, but if you want to log off, you can click the log off and then the access is not available if someone else is able to get into your 
uh, mobile device. So I'd like to thank you for taking a few minutes with me today. If you have any questions, please make sure that you speak to the HR person at your company. And we at Complete Payroll would be happy to answer questions if they reach out to us directly. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.